Hi everyone, I just want to take a minute to talk about the importance of working with a qualified healthcare practitioner if you're going to be doing at-home self-testing. This is a question that comes up actually so often with my prospective clients and it's such a good uh, question that I just wanted to take a minute to kind of go over that a little bit. So there's really a lot of convenience in having companies out there that are willing to go direct to consumer to offer different labs, whether they're saliva panels, stool tests, even sometimes in some cases blood spot testing. However, you you need to kind of know um, the company. I, I feel like in the world we live in today that um, a lot of companies are actually getting bought out by uh, investment companies that are not necessarily protecting the privacy of your data and you know just doing some research to see who has the biggest shareholdings in the company you're purchasing your labs from from my perspective is very very important so that's one key point that I do want to make the other point I want to make is that as a lay person I feel it can be incredibly difficult to navigate self-testing on your own without extensive training certification and deep knowledge in nutrition and functional testing and part of the reason why i say this is that there's such an array of tests out there that oftentimes people will select a test because it's easy and convenient and maybe the price point looks good but it's not necessarily what i would select myself as as a provider working with um, a lot of different testing companies and kind of knowing which tests are really going to provide me with the best data so not every saliva panel is the same not every stool test is the same there's specific markers that are very valuable to get and the importance of doing this in conjunction with a healthcare practitioner is just so so important in helping you select the right test now all that being said i often have cases where prospective clients will come to me they'll want to sign on they'll want to start working and they've already done their own test whether it was through everly well or another company online and be, even though it's it's not ideal, and I explained that if we could redo that and, and pick a different company and a different test, that would definitely be preferable. I try to be very cost effective and economical about it. And I always say, hey, let's work with the data we've got. Obviously, we're, we're likely to do retesting down the road as we make some progress and we're working on some things. And so for the next round, we'll, we'll select a better test and a better company. But... Um, I, I just see this trend so often where uh, people get over exuberant, they want to just go ahead and jump straight to self-testing and it's, it's not a bad thing, right? We want to take the power of our health into our own hands, but I just want to caution you about doing this and doing it on your own unguided because certainly doing the test and getting a lab report back will give you some sort of sense of where things are at and what may or may not be out of range, but it's not going to be the same in-depth knowledge and clarity and understanding as working with a qualified healthcare practitioner. And then of course you get the test results and if you're doing it on your own, you might not even know what to do to work on the imbalances found on the test. And so that's the whole next piece of this. So I just wanna put that out there today. Um, have you give that some thought, caution you a little bit around jumping in on the DIY end of things. Uh, if you're really at that point of frustration and you're thinking about doing some testing, I highly encourage you to find the right functional practitioner to work with. And of course, I'm always here as a resource for you. So feel free to reach out to me and ask me if you have any questions.